this is the part 3 of the series bear with me and in this one I'm going to focus on the advanced features of this amazing note taking application. Alright first thing first I'm going to show you some of my most used shortcut keys which going to help you navigate the application much quicker and work with it faster. First control 1, control 2 and control 3. You can see that you can expand and collapse both sidebars. Control 1 will put you into the Zen mode. Control 2 opens the list of notes and control 3 the sidebar. Beside that, if you press command O, it will navigate you to, to the notes that you're typing here. So for example, I have this note which I want to navigate to and then pressing command and a square bracket will navigate through the notes that you opened recently. Connected to that is command F, which if I'm opening this sidebar, command and F will easily navigate me through the search bar and I can just search for anything. And then pressing command and N will create a new note. Command shift P will pin the note on top and then if you press it again, it will toggle. So pin and unpin. And then holding command and option, one, two, three, four, five will navigate you through all these sidebar sections. So command option one, two, three, four, five. And then nine is the main notes, all the notes, and then zero is your trash. And then something very important is holding command shift and seven, eight, nine, and zero. You can see that it inserts date time, date only, date only with a different format, and also time only. And then holding command and T will create a to-do and then command and dot will toggle that to-do. Another powerful feature of Bear application is getting benefit from both commands and markdown. This can help you a lot speed up your note taking. For example, for creating a header, I can either press hashes, the number of uh, hashes indicate the, the number of the header. For example, header number three would be three hashes next to each other. or at the same time, for example, header, at the same time, I can press command and three, then it creates me a header number three. Command one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can see that. For creating a line separator, for example, you can either press command option and S, or using markdown, you can press ha dash three times, or underscore three times all will do the same. And then for example, for creating a to-do, you can either use a markdown or command T. I think using commands is slightly faster than using markdown. For Wikilinks, it's double square bracket open and then, and then for creating a link, it's the title of your link and access, which is the full URL of your website. You can also use command and K for the same purpose, title of the link, and then address. And then another useful thing is footer note. For example, if I want to create a footer note, it will be the number here, and then my text, and if I click here, it will create a footer note for me. So I strongly encourage you to browse through these shortcut keys and pick your favorite ones. You only need to learn them once and it's going to help you along the way a lot with your note taking speed and the experience of using this application. So let's talk about organizing notes in Bear. The concept of organizing notes in Bear is very different from any other note taking application. It only uses tags and nested tags. There is no folder in it. I personally love it, but I know there's a mixed feeling about it. Some people prefer folders, but for me, because I just want a quick way of creating and organizing my notes, it's perfect. It's very innovative. For example, for creating a parent tag or parent folder, you can press hash and type your tag name. I will name it parent tag. 
And then if you press enter, you can see that it automatically creates a category for you here. Parent tag is here. And then I can add as much category as I want. For example, I want a note to be visible in multiple categories. I'm going to add a quote here as well, which I can see that it's here. So right now, if I press on any of these, the note will appear on these categories, which I think is very powerful because with concept of folder, a note cannot belong to multiple folders. So in this way, you got multiple way of searching your note, multiple way of accessing your note, and you can create a better neural or men, uh, mind connection in your notes, how to find them later, faster and easier. And then I can also make the note belong to both a parent tag and also a sub tag, which is a, or a child tag, I would call it here. And when I press enter automatically again, you can see that it creates an arrow here for me, which is collapsible and expandable. And the note now belongs to both parent and child tag. So this way you can organize your note very quickly because um, if I deleted this, then it automatically deletes the sub tag for me as well. I do not need to maintain all my folders or, uh, you know, create and delete any folders manually. It just heavy lift a lot of work for me now, which makes the organization of the notes much quicker. To help you visually use the tags and later find them quick and fast, you can either uh, use an emoji in your tag, and you can see that an emoji is getting created along with text. You can combine them with text. And also at the same time, if you press right click here and edit the tag, you can add a emoji yourself to the tag, which makes it easier to find to be, to be found later. And also the sub tag also can take an emoji and a text. And you can see that the text now has the emoji and also the text can also be edited and have an emoji by default on its own. Something that can help you organize and access your notes quicker once you created them, it's having a dashboard. So how you can create a dashboard? I personally use it this way. On each category, which is important for me, and I know I'm gonna have a lot of subcategory and uh, notes in it, I'll create a new note and I'll call it name of the category dash home. So this is going to be my dashboard and I'll usually pin it on top. Command shift P, do you remember? And I will start to tag the notes that are important for me. I'll create a wiki links to them and then this will be my dashboard. I can add text, I can add uh, different uh, description for each note to help me remember and then you can see that I have a quick way to access those notes. I can see them always appearing on top. And since this note is pinned on top on each category, I should be able to easily access home and also have an observability of the notes that are important for me and I would like to access them later. And once you navigate through the note that is linked, if you go here, you can see in your statistic, in the last panel here is the backlinks. It shows you where it's backlinked. If I click on here, then I will navigate back to my home. And if I go back again to the notes that I just linked, you can see that it shows me all the backlinks belong to this that are inserted here. If you would like to import notes from any other note taking application, Bear has a lot of options. You can choose any standard extensions, for example, MD files, text files, or rich text files, or directly import from other note taking application like Obsidian. I personally tried Evernote and Obsidian and they worked flawlessly. You can entire, you can import the entire vault or you can you choose a specific folder to import from. 
for example let's try here technical and then once I import it everything would get a Uh, dash obsidian tagging them so all these nodes are imported just now from uh, from my obsidian vault from that specific folder you can see that even attachments are imported the links works perfectly fine on the same note if you would like to export for example all these notes you can again go back to your file menu export notes and then it gives you some of the options which are very generous. I would say these are the market standards, markdown, bare note, if you want to export them to any other note taking application. And then another thing which is very important is to back up your note frequently. You can select specific notes to back up them or select everything. If you go to your notes, select command, press command A and select everything, then you can export everything in your bare note. Here I will try with these five backup notes and then export notes with the specific place that I created and then it's finished now if I want to I mean in times of catastrophe if you if I want to restore those notes is all appeared here and then I can restore them and then finally if you wish to share a note you can select the note press these three dots and then share to a specific application copy as or export note. If you wish to lock any note, you can right click. It also works with multiple notes. I can select multiple notes, right click, and then privacy, add password. And then it will appear in my locked folder. And finally, ability to capture content from web. It's gonna be very useful if you are doing research, if you're seeing anything on the web, which is useful for you, you would like to capture it and store it in your bare application. There's an extension in Safari, you can check on the extension store, it's called Send to Bear, and you can install it, for example, this page on Wikipedia, I would like to capture it. Once I press on the Send to Bear, it will capture all the contents, scrap them, it creates a note for me, which is very thorough, it has all the links as it has it on the web page on it. All the links work. It captures the images, it captures the GIF files, but not the videos. I think it provides a link to the video. So that was it. I wish it was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You'll hear more from me. Uh, in the near future, Bear Web gonna be published and I'm gonna be among the people who are gonna better test this uh, very, very useful and anticipated feature. So a lot of us are looking to use Bear cross-platform and I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm going to create content on the Bear web and I'll publish it here. Until then, take care of yourself.